Well, I bet you didn't know <laughs> that the government is up. They give it to the states and lost connection. Wow, how did it Live learn. Uh, John, okay, live. Ooh, another one. It must be okay. <laughs> Nothing viewers that, uh, we're notifying viewers that you're live. Oh, that's like, but I want to take your questions too. So if anybody has a question, I'll, I'll be here to take questions and really explain why there's more stimulus funds now available in this year, 2022, than there was in 2020 or even 2021 because it, it built up, you know, and, and people didn't realize that they weren't uh, uh, spending it. And so it was sitting there, the elected officials had it sit there. They had to decide how to spend it. And you know, you get two politicians in a room and they can't decide on anything. So they're finally deciding how to spend all the stimulus money that they have <laughs> you know, in their coffers just sitting there in your government. And it's not the federal government money. The money already gave the, go the state government and the local government uh, money, okay? So it's all there waiting for your elected officials at the city and county and state level to decide how to spend it. So that's where you have to look for this stuff. And how do you do that? Uh, to find them, you go to uh, commoncause.org uh, and you put in your zip code and do that. Okay, here's a question. Trying to buy land to open up a campground. What are the best options? A lot of money now for people to buy rural land, okay? There's a whole bunch. I have a report. If you remember, let's go help ask for this report we have. Uh, and that's lescohelp.com if, if you remember. Uh, and I'll send you that. But if you're not, okay, here's where to start. You start at your County Cooperative Extension Service. County Cooperative Extension Service. So you go to Google, put in County Cooperative Extension Service, and then put your county name, Montgomery County, County Cooperative Extension Service. Now you call them. Now when you call them, you say, I want to make an appointment with somebody because I want to know about programs to help me. Okay. You don't ask for money. You ask for help, okay? County Cooperative Extension. Okay, so that's just one place. The next thing you do is go to eda.gov. That's Economic Development Administration, but the, just the letters, eda.gov, and you make an appointment with as many of those people as you can because what they are are people in your state that get grants to help you start a business. That's all they do, see? But you won't find them in in, uh, in Google because Google only shows you people that want to get money from you. <laughs> These people want to give you money, so they can't advertise and get, and can't go to uh, ooh, sneeze a roo <laughs> when your nose this size. That's meaningful. <laughs> uh, and, and so that's how to start. And they're the people. And and use the phone more than the internet. Your phone is much. <laughs> Is this hay fever season or something like that? <laughs> uh, the host is inviting you to go live together. Oh, well, I don't know. It. Well, ask me a question first. Uh, okay, so who, who, if you have a question, ask me a question so I can help you. I can point you in the way to go. And, and uh, that's the way to do it. Oh, then I had a tissue. <laughs> I'm actually at the library. I'm trying to promote libraries too because they are better. The libraries are better than Google. Yeah, because they're going to, they know the local communities that give money. They're, that's where the money is. It's not in the people who advertise on Google. The people who advertise on Google are the people who want to get your money. The people who want to give you money are usually local nonprofits and government organizations got money from the government that want to give it to you to pay your bills or get out of debt or start a business or buy a house. See? And that's what's important that you know about them. Uh, and, and they're all there. <laughs> uh, to do. I live in California and I just got an LLC and I need money to start my business. What? Well, first of all, when you're looking for money for a business, there's a lot of grant money out there, but you're not going to find it by asking for a grant. Okay. I know it sounds stupid, but in the long run, you'll realize this. Uh, and, and because I've been doing this for 40 or 50 years, <laughs> it's hard to, uh, to explain it all. But here's what you do. You go to uh, sba.gov, okay, sba.gov, uh, okay, and when you do that, then you uh, search for community navigators, community navigators on sba.gov, 
And then you get a listing of all the community navigators all over the country. And they got, see, last, oh, about six months ago, the government gave out $100 million and set up community navigators all over the country to help you for free start a business. So that's it. If you ask for money, they may not have money, and you'll say no, and you'll go away. But no, so that's why you don't want to do that. You just want to ask for help. I want to make an appointment with somebody to help me start my business. That's all you want to do. Okay. Help to start a business. That's all you do, and get that appointment and see what to do. And then keep your mouth shut to hear what they do first. Uh, and don't tell them what you need. Find out what they have and try to understand how best to use them. And if they don't have something you could use, then what you have to do is ask them for other places because they'll know about other places. They're in the business of helping small businesses uh, get going, okay? So they'll help, you know, they want, they're in job. They already got paid to help you. <laughs> and so that's why, let them help you. Find out what they're doing and how they can help you. Like the cool glasses, right? Well, it's a little hot today, <laughs> but that's it. So that's how you have to use the system. Google is a minefield. You know, you have to stay away from it, uh, from Google. You know, you want to get uh, you want to get people who are experts in this field and already get grants to help you for free. Okay, see, I'm going to charge you eventually because I got to get money to live on. <laughs> so, but the people out there that tell you where to go don't have to worry about getting money from you. Okay, so that's it. Can we use a 1099C form to buy stuff. What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> uh, a 1099 is what they give you, right? Uh, and that's a form somebody gives you because you work for somebody, right? That's my understanding. But if you have a problem like that, you call the IRS. If you can't get through, that's okay. Uh, then what you do is you go to uh, what's called Americas, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S, <laughs> A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S, uh, uh, S-B-D-C, so that's two S's in the middle. America's, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S, S-B-D-C dot org. You only want to be dealing with uh, uh, websites that are dot org or dot G-O-V. Don't dodge the T-G question. Explain the hearts. Uh, what does T-G-E mean? <laughs> oh, the hearts, eh? I used to, I don't know if you know me, I've been doing this work for 40 or 50 years. I used to wear question mark suits, you know, because I always felt that, boy, you could, the, it's the questions that are important. You get an answer for everything. I'm sitting in the library, they're here to give you answers. You go on the internet, you could get a 10 million answers to anything you want, right? But that's not the hard part. The hard part is the right, the right question to ask. And now, even after doing that for 10, 15, 20 years or whatever, wearing question mark suits, I feel that it's your heart that's more important. Uh, to get things done. You could have the best information in the world and if your heart's not in it, you're not gonna do it uh, and, and it's not gonna be done and you're gonna go on and have the same life you have now. If you wanna change it, your heart has to be in it. And it's the same for anything that you want to, uh, uh, for a personal relationship or a professional relationship. Life is shitty, okay? It's a newsflash, but most of you know this, all right? It's hard, okay? <laughs> and so if your heart is not in it, it's not going to happen. Look at the Russians and the, uh, um, uh, the war over there. Man, the Ukraine people, their heart's in it, right? They're kicking the shit out of Russians. They're the second biggest army in the world, right? Their heart's in it. That's what you have to do. You have to have your heart in it to make sure things happen. Otherwise, you're going to run into roadblocks, because you will. And you're going to say, oh, this is too hard. I'm going to go do something else. You do something else, it's going to be hard, too. <laughs> That's what life is called. <laughs> uh, and so then you, know, you wind up just going to thing by thing and never getting thing, because you have to really find something your heart's in. And when you do that, then you're good. Having a hard time getting unemployment because of an error in the name spelling. Okay, you have a problem with any bureaucracy. Okay, you go to your elected official. And I would start at the top. I would, I would go to your, you have two U.S. senators, one U.S. congressman and state officials. So all of them can help you with that. And so the way to do it is you ask all of them <laughs> because some are going to be idiots some are going to be lazy some will never answer your phone whatever so you have 12 people to call 
you call them up and try to get you know the cavalry after it see they're the only people that can make any difference uh, I had a, a member wrote me the other day and I read the uh, uh, her answer on the phone or what she wrote about and it's how she wrote she had a problem with the division motor vehicles and her wanted to get a bill erased or something like that and she just wrote from the top to the bottom uh, you know like a half a dozen or so emails or whatever she was sending and then she got uh, an answer the next day from the uh, estate representative who was really the big shot in the state. They called and said, give me your phone number. I'll have, I'll call you or, or I guess they wrote to her. I'll call you or have someone call you to fix the problem. They called, the problem was fixed in a day. Wow, see, they can do that. You and I can't. Your lawyer can't even do this. You know, so that's why you have to use that elected official. And the less, you know, when you hire a lawyer, they're going to call the elected official and do it anyway and charge you two, three hundred bucks an hour. So do it yourself. Learn the system. Any advice on struggling artists in Michigan? Uh, move to New York. No, I don't know. For, for the government. Yeah, they may be training for it's not boring, but they buy more of that stuff than anybody else. Then plus there's people that will help you get those contracts. So you have to figure out the system. You know, what they have is they give grants to professionals uh, to help people like you or struggling artists or whatever find out how to get a government contract. Man, nothing better than that. Yep, uh, it's gonna take work. See, everything takes work. Uh, and that's the important thing. Advice, and now the other thing to me, what's good about artists is there's a lot of ways to make money on the internet as an artist. You could teach other people to art. Uh, you could be a freelancer on art, and it costs you nothing. If you go to, uh, or even drive for Uber and make money while you're being an artist. But I think if you go to Patreon, P A T R E O N, I think it is dot com, that's where you could put your art there and get monthly income because you're an artist, okay? And what it is, it's a crowdfunding platform for artists. And so you put their art, your art up there, people don't have to buy anything from you. If they like it, they give you 10 bucks or something. And, and that website is giving out a million dollars a month to artists. Yeah. And that's another thing. There's too many ways. Go to your local public library. Ask them, you know, for, hey, how can I make money as an artist? I'm sure they get that question all the time. Go to the Small Business Development Center. They help artists too. And that's SBDC, no, Americas, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S, and then SBDC.org. Find your local office for the uh, Small Business Development Center. And, and they'll, have, let's see, I'm getting a notice. Send TikTok Universe uh, to move. I don't know what that is. This is the first time I'm going live here, so. <laughs> <laughs> I get all kind of things coming on. That I'm not really sure. So that's what it is. And if we can help you, what we do at letsgohelp.com is, is, well, it's a place for you to apply to every government grant that it's ever been in America. And I've been doing this 50 years, and we do that. We also have our own grants. We give out $35,000 a month. Every month we give out $35,000 to members, and either $1,000 or $500. Now that's cool, I never thought I'd do something like that. We've done it for a year now, we've given out over $300,000 so far. And the next time to uh, apply is by August 4th. So that we close the applications, then you could apply for the next one, which would be September 4th application. And that'll be another one. So, and you could keep applying until you win. So that's fine. <laughs> and business has been very, we've been very fortunate, so we'll be doing it. And that's what we do with our profits. We give it to, to members. So all the members get our profits. We pay ourselves first. <laughs> you gotta you know, uh, help yourself first before you do anything. And then we give it to, uh, to members. Miss you in Periscope. Is Periscope still around? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> usually I find a camera. But I've been mostly on, um, on YouTube. Uh, and that's pretty steady. But now, you know, it looks like something maybe I could build on, on, on TikTok to educate people. I'm all about educating, but I have to support myself too. So there's ways to throw your money. And, and on the, we also have live video training sessions. Every week we have, you know, like three or four different training sessions every week uh, uh, for Lesco Help members. And that's where you, 
ask me or the other people who are given uh, the training, uh, other people. And the best thing about Let's Go Help is the other members that help you. See, we have thousands and thousands of members now, and they're doing exactly what you're trying to do. So they've been there already. And they could tell you, no, this guy's an idiot. Don't go there. You know, this guy's full of shit. Don't, don't do that. They are, here's where I got my money, and here's how I got it. So that's what's uh, going on, you know, with that. And that's really fun to see. So that's why, you know, I'm not going to be here forever. So I, I can see that this thing, people helping each other. Maybe they'll do it all for free and they don't have to pay me to live <laughs> and my staff. And a bigger way to do it. You know, I think the government should be doing what I'm doing and not... You know, the government should have something like this, but they can't get out of their own way to make it user-friendly and, uh, and to realize how people do it. I have a small water restoration business on Grants, you know. Yes, if I had a water restoration business, I guess you you uh, help people after they've been flooded or something like that. You go and and go to that SBDC, you know, America's SBDC.org, make an appointment to get government contracts. Government contracts would be much better for you. So if you get a grant for ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, man, you can get a government contract for two hundred thousand dollars every year. Now that's something to work for. My sister does that. She made a million dollars just framing stuff for the government out of out of her garage. Man, now that's a business. Yeah, uh, and that's what you want. And see, all the help you need to do that is absolutely free. How do I get? money for free well you got to get it from a nonprofit organization or from the government anybody else who says they're free money they're gonna get you <laughs> that's why when you're looking for it you only want to talk to people who are dot org or dot uh, gov gov and that's what you want uh, and they're they're the people who already got paid so they don't have to get money from you to to uh, to, to eat yeah you know, we all have to eat we have to take care of ourselves uh, first so that's an important thing to do uh, any other questions there what's the best way to get a license for food sale well I would call you know the people that help people get into the food business any kind of food business they even have free training they have free instructions you want to sell food out of your home or anything like that is your county cooperative extension service okay County Cooperative Extension Service. People will go to the SBA and things like that. No, you want to go to the County Cooperative Extension Service. They specialize in you making money with food. Uh, how do people with disability qualify for special grants? Uh, my wife is deaf. Well, make sure she also qualifies for the non-special grants. You know, uh, I just did a report of all the programs for people with disabilities by state. So we have 50, 50 of them. Um, and that's a place to start. But it's depending on what you want the money for. So it's broken down people with disability, uh, usually in housing, all the grants and everything available for housing, uh, because it has to be special housing. That, and then grants for transportation, because you need you know, certain kinds of vehicles and things like that. Technology, where are you going to use, you know, how technology could make uh, your disability you know, less of a problem. And then normal stuff too, paying bills, paying things like that. So that's what Let's Go Help is. Uh, if you want help without paying me money, then what I would do is go to findhelp.com. Find help, no, not .com, .org. Findhelp.org. You go there and put in your zip code and then put in disabilities. And you will find where you live, there are going to be 20 organizations that help people with disabilities. Now, most people, what they'll do is look at that, look at their website and see nothing for them. Don't do that. Don't look at their websites. Call every one of them. It's only 20 phone calls. What the hell? I mean, you could have done that this morning already and you would have it all done. Yeah. Uh, so it's not a lot of things. Sure, it's a pain in the ass. Absolutely. <laughs> Anything that's worthwhile is probably going to be a pain in the ass. So you just call all those people <laughs> and, and, and tell them what you're looking for and how. ask them how they can help you. And if they can't, ask them who else do they suggest that you call. Simple. Bim, bam. Everybody makes it hard because Google made it hard for you. 
<laughs> if you don't use Google, it's really a very simple process. If you use Google, you'll go around in Google circles for a day, a week, a year. It's not unusual. <laughs> and it's really the, the world is finite, but it's infinite on Google because you have all the people trying to sell you something besides the people who are there trying to give you something. So 99, 44, 100% of the websites are people who are trying to sell you something. And the rest, the five rest, <laughs> are people that really have something of value to give you without charging you any money. Now, where are you gonna go? <laughs> yeah. So that, that's what life is about, getting information. You really helped me, uh, a family member, Thank you so much. Oh, nice to hear. I mean, that, that's what keeps me going. I'm, like, I'm 79 years old, man. I, 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 I have at least 10 more years, maybe 12 or 15. Yeah. What's the best way to promote your business? Dress like an asshole and scream on, scream on TV. <laughs> me and Donald Trump, well, he doesn't dress like an asshole. I do. Because <laughs> I didn't have his money. <laughs> it, it is. I have a report that shows you all my businesses that made money are the ones I started without out money. Oh, I just grew a beard or <laughs> mustache. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'll send you that report if you're a member. If you're not, go to one of these places, you know, the uh, uh, community navigators. Go to sba.gov, sba.gov, and look for the community navigators where you live. These are free people help. I mean, all people, lots of, most people I know have started businesses without money. You can't start every business without money, but you can, like I say. The two that have been successful for me, well, actually, the, the two have been not successful are those that I found money to start. The successful ones have all been those that I started without any money. You know, why do you get your clothes at oh, where? I go on Fiverr, do you know Fiverr? And I look for designers all over the world and for $10, they'll design any. Hey, give me something funny that looks with hearts or whatever. They, they find it, look it, and I say, well, that sounds good. So that's not 10, 15 bucks. Then I send it to Printful, P-R-I-N-T-F-U-L, and they'll make me t-shirts, pants, anything for another 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. Now to get suits, I do the same thing, but I have uh, uh, fabric made. There's 3D fabric. You know, they have 3D printed t-shirts like this, but now you can get fabric. So I get the fabric about 10, 15 bucks a yard. I get three, four yards of that. And then I send it to Vietnam where they make me a suit. And they'll make a suit for 150 bucks. Man. <laughs> so the, and the, you know, it cost me 50 bucks or I don't know, 100 for the uh, fabric, then 150 bucks for the suit. And then it's about the same for the postage. <laughs> but for 300 bucks, man, I got something nobody else will ever see. <laughs> and that's cool. Uh, Matthew owned this 90s in the day career. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, most of it was probably after, it was either midday, because that was cheap, or midnight, <laughs> when it was even cheaper commercials. And that's where I made money. And I, all those ads, I never paid for them. Never, 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 never paid for them. They were all free, because you learn how to use the system. So that's why. I'm convinced you don't need money to start anything. You, know, you just have to learn the system. So don't go out with a preconceived notion of what you need and what you think you need. Go out and start learning how to do something. You know, and just say when you go for help in an SPDC or something, I need help starting a business. That's all you have to say. Don't say anything else. Don't say what you need because you're basing your needs based on what you think. <laughs> and what we think if we haven't done any research, it's wrong. <laughs> you have to do research to find out what really to say. Uh, and, and that's what's important. Uh, so do that research, uh, start thinking. It's sort of, a, there's a book out I, I really have to get. It's called Being a Scout. And that's why for entrepreneuring or anything, you have to go out and scout. You have to go out and look for the opportunities. You go out and look what's there. It's sort of like in the military. I was in the Navy, so we didn't really have scouts. I guess we did in the ships. So in the military, you know, they send out somebody at night and look where the enemy is and what they're doing or whatever. Then that scout comes back and, and tells the general, okay, you can't go over there. So you got to do this and because these people are over there, whatever. Yeah, 
But if you're like most of the people here trying to start a business, just give me a lot of money and I'll go. You know? So that's the same thing in this general. Oh, I got a lot of troops, so I'll just go. You know? No, yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what Russia did. They're getting their ass kicked, right? <laughs> so you could do it with a fraction. So the people that had a fraction, you know, hardly any money, <laughs> are kicking the ass out of these people. So that's what you're saying. I want to be Russia. Just give me a lot of money and I'll go attack everybody. <laughs> well, I guess that's a way, but you know, if you don't have money, then you're going to spend the rest of your life looking for money. But now, see, the thing is, you have another way to do it without money. Now, that's power. That's stuff that nobody ever tells you about. You know, because you go to these conferences or meeting, oh, you got to get this venture capital and do this and do because they're selling venture capital, they're selling all kinds of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Grants for new movers in Maryland. What do you mean new movers? Are you a mover and shaker kind of mover or are you a, a, a company that moves things? Well, if it's business oriented, go to the economic development office at your state capital uh, and make an appointment to see somebody. You're not gonna do anything or get anything of any value unless you sit down and talk to somebody belly to belly. And when they don't help you, uh, then you ask who else could help you and you look somebody else because everybody's not going to be perfect and help you. you know, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's like dating or anything else. So you got to keep at it. So that's why your heart has to be in it for you to keep going it, uh, for things. I cannot find a source of grants for debt relief on that site. What site? My site? Uh, well, if you're on Let's Go Help, what we do is you ask us a question. So in other words, you'll say, hey, I need debt relief. I send you a report. I read your question. Now, this is what I do most of my day, is answer questions on, it and, uh, on Let's Go Help. And then I, I'll send you a report of all the possibilities to solve that problem. And the number one is, is I'll tell you to make an appointment with a free financial counselor that will go over everything and help you lower your credit score and everything, all for free. Okay, all these people are for free. Remember, every website I give you will never cost you money, okay? <laughs> yes, I bought into the membership. Well, you better get over there and ask, because that's how it helps. It doesn't... <laughs> we give help uh, 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 on the, uh, uh, in the group, you know, and that's what it's for, but you have to ask for it. It's not gonna, you know, come and ring your doorbell. <laughs> you gotta ring our doorbell. And then we, we pack it together with you hit, and it shows you where to, who to contact, how to make the appointment, whatever. And then, so that's one part. Then you have to start finding people that will help you, other programs to help pay those expenses now and get them down or whatever. And also uh, to help free help in negotiating with the credit card company. So you don't have to pay it all and things like that. How much is the membership? $20 or $19.95 and that's a month and, and and like I say but we give out $35,000 of that subscription money every month back to members uh, and then also we have uh, live video training live video training uh, you know every week we'll have three or four of them and you get on with the zoom call and get personal help there and you could ask us a hundred questions if you like. I paid 50 bucks. Well, maybe you paid for six months. Uh, I don't know. We have, but bas the basic price is 19.95. So if you paid, I think that's if you paid 40 dollars, you get uh, a break and you got three months or something like that. Yeah. So look at it. If we screw you, we'll give you your money back. Amy Grants. Oh, where are you? You sound familiar, Amy. Oh. Amy Grants. That help in housing for new and low, any help, oh, any grants. I thought it was Amy Grant. Yes, and actually they're, they're, it's all the time, but it takes digging. We have a short s supply of housing, so that's why you have to dig harder than you had to uh, in prior years to find help with housing. But don't go and look for realtors, don't go and look at Google. Go and look for nonprofit organizations and government offices, and you could find them, you look for housing under 211.org, and findhelp.org, okay? And that's how you find it. And what you do is you don't read their website. You call them on the phone. I need housing, I'm in big trouble. Can you tell me how you might be able to help or tell me where to go to help, okay? Where do I ask uh, for the TGE report? I'm not sure what TGE report. Uh, 
the reports are for members, okay, members. Or actually, we, we sell some of the reports too on what's called lescoreports.com. So if you don't want to join, you can go to lescoreports.com. No, findhelp.org, that's where you get help. Uh, for housing and nonprofit organization. See, find help in 211.org and findhelp.org. Only people in those databases are people who give money, okay? Uh, arts, not question marks. Well, it's both. They still have a bunch of, it's really both. I'm going more to hearts now, <laughs> is what it's all about. And so that's a lot of the new stuff I have is hearts or a mixture of both. I have some with hearts and question marks and stuff. Uh, so they're both part of my heart, but the heart is more important and it, and actually as I get older too I'm trying to live with what I call an open heart. I think if you open your heart more to people You become nicer inside and if you become nicer inside you could You attract nicer people <laughs> You know if you're trying to Protect yourself from assholes then you almost have to be an asshole if you're trying to protect yourself from assholes so when you're acting like an asshole because you're trying to protect yourself from assholes because that's the game they play then you don't attract the nice people so you have to overcome that uh you have opened your heart to us for a decade oh how nice of you to say uh but it's a struggle you know every day of your life because there's not a lot of encouragement to do that people will call you stupid you know and you're going to be taken advantage of and whatever and that's why i try, I try to get stuff that people have no power over me so i don't you know, I'm not going to do stupid things that I don't think is right. And the best decisions are the ones you make with your heart, not with your mind, your heart. Your heart tells the truth. Your mind is scared of shit. <laughs> and so that's why we make a lot of bad decisions. We have really, you have helped so many. Oh, awfully nice. I mean, God, I never thought I'd grow. <laughs> People would say that kind of stuff to me. Man, I was just trying to feed myself. You know, and... You know, that's what I think most of us are trying to do. Uh, and, and that's the name of the game, take care of yourself and so you can take care of other people too. And so now I don't have to worry about eating, uh, even though I'm, I was a fat kid and I used to fight at weight control every day. So <laughs> I still do worry about eating. <laughs> it's just what I eat. Uh, and, and now it's about how much can I give before I die? You know? What else are you going to do? You know, after you take care of yourself, then it's, it's all about giving it. And I know this stuff, I feel, more than anybody. And so how could I package it and, and make other people realize that what we have as a community, what we have built as a community, it's a pain in the ass, there's bad parts, like all of us. There's, I'm a pain in the ass and bad parts. I'll show you some ex-wives that agree with you. <laughs> uh, and, and, but there's also good parts. So you have to learn about that. And see, what motivates me more is that when I started this, I started helping rich people. I would help Fortune 500 companies get all this money. And I said, holy shit, I didn't know about any of this stuff. They would teach me because I, I want to get paid, so I'd find them stuff. In. And then find it, and I had no idea it was there. I said, gee, why doesn't everybody know? I grew up in Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And I said, wow, why don't people in Wilkesboro know? So in my head, heart, what I'm talking about now, you know, I left Wilkesboro, you know, 50 some years ago probably, but that's still in my heart, uh, uh, in my mind. That's who I'm helping. I'm not helping these, you know, robots here in the black suits <laughs> walking around Washington trying to get more money from Washington. That's what they all do. <laughs> and so you don't have a lobbyist to do that. Yeah, that's what these fucking lobbyists do. They're getting rich. They're making billionaires out of millionaires. Yeah. Because it's easier to get a law change than it is to get, you know, customers. <laughs> you just take some, you know, uh, elected officials to dinner a couple of times. You know, you get a law change. God, you're a millionaire. <laughs> because you're in the law. You know, and I, that's, I don't want to help doing that. Uh, I want to help people. Uh, share the life. Uh, I've been able to help anyone financially. I haven't been able to win. Do you think kindness is a good way to help absolutely it's better man everybody wants to be kind and that's why you see on, on on our groups just people that say hey that encourage people you know after they didn't get what they wanted to get or or gave them other advice and you know just say something about hey this is good what you did and 
That's what we need. We all want that. Think of yourself as a little kid hanging on mommy's skirt, you know, <laughs> trying to get their attention. We just don't want to, uh, whatever, not be noticed. And that's why I think about, ah, oh, I'm gonna, I gotta chain myself to the White House fence, screaming free money <laughs> if I get enough notice when I die or something, so I can let people know. We, we want, uh, I don't know, but that's. Maybe I'm just an egotistical bastard or whatever. Uh, but we all struggle, and, and that's the key. We're all struggling. Nobody has an answer. We maybe could get little bits and pieces from other people. But to me, I feel what gives me or anybody else the audacity to tell you what to do in life when I don't know what to do with my own life. I struggle with that every day. So does everybody else. <laughs> but they'll be glad to tell you what you should do, right? And that's why I think that's false. You know, if somebody loves you, it's not telling you what to do. Uh, it's helping you do whatever you want to do. And that's our mission in life, if you love somebody. And that's why I feel uh, my work. I'm trying to help people do whatever they want to do. You need money to pay your rent? Okay, I'll try to help you find that. You need money to start a business? Okay, I'm not going to judge whether it's right or wrong or anything. No, uh, I'll help you do that. And I think that's, in about my late 40s, I started thinking that way about what love is. Love, to me, and I grew up in an Eastern European family, we, we all told each other how they should live their lives. <laughs> Our lives are perfect. They weren't, and they knew they weren't. But they'd be happy to tell you how to uh, run your life, right? <laughs> we all know people like that. Because it's all in us, too. That's part of the bad stuff that's in us all. And, and, and that's important to realize that uh, uh, that's why so take any advice no matter what people say you should do evaluate it it may or may not work sense make sense and dig deeper in your own heart to feel what you should do because that's where your heart comes in if you're digging deeper if you're doing something else tells you to do it's easier to quit oh, I knew that guy was an asshole you know <laughs> and he was probably wrong so you're going to quit easy and, and getting anything done is staying there when there's problems. So the only way to stay there when there's problems, if it comes from your heart, you really want to do this, then whatever problem is there, you're going to get over it. You're going to get around it. You're going to get through it. If you take somebody else's advice, you're still going to get problems, but you're going to stop as soon as the problems show. If you take your own advice, then you won't stop. You'll keep going. <laughs> and that's the only thing that, hey, you're in DC, NYC. No, I'm in DC. I'm downtown. This is the DC Public Library. Just been redone. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll flip it around. You can see. Where's the flipper? Where is flipper? There was a movie. Uh, anyway, here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, TikTok doesn't want me to flip. <laughs> it may be in there. This is the first time I'm using it, so I don't know. Uh, your glasses are gone. Well, thank you. Uh, ben Huston, 20 years. Uh, trust, I know. Uh, following the host, join. Uh, yes, I've been doing this 40 more years. Yeah. And that's what I see. Wow, I, I, you get better at stuff. That's another thing. If your, your heart is in there, you're going to go through the ups and downs and whatever and keep getting better. Enjoy your day. Love with you. Thank you so much. I went to school with your sons. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> uh, my youngest one's having his second child soon. They're in the hospital now. But maybe a false alarm, but we'll see. <laughs> question marks too. Yeah, I still have a closet full of them. And I wear hearts, question marks, a little bit of both or whatever I think. Oh no, hey, I think my pants have question marks on. Uh, no, and, and when I walk down the street, my people may not know me, and I'm sure most don't, but they just smile at me. Yeah, what's better than that? To walk down the street and people, you make people smile. Yeah, I mean, that, that is just a wonderful feeling to me anyway. Maybe I, I'm uh, an insecure son of a bitch or something. I don't know, <laughs> but it certainly feels bad. It's the goat himself. <laughs> oh, it took me a while to re realize it wasn't a, a slur. <laughs> That's it, being old, you're not hip to the new expression. And then that, how I'm fit. Well, I thought they said, oh, I work out a little. I don't worry, I just run or walk about six, seven miles a day. I used to run until about a year ago, and I stopped running. 
not because of the, the muscles or bones or anything. The brain doesn't think fast enough for me to run. <laughs> Let's go Zinfo Power. Wow, yes, long time ago. <laughs> now I got more power on the internet because I could help people better. Give them one-on-one -on -one help. I used to give you a big book. You don't know what to do with it. You did nothing. Now I rifle right in, man. You tell me, you know, I, I need money to fix my roof. Here are the programs where you live that you contact to get money to fix your roof. That's it. You don't have to go through a book. You don't have to read anything. No, no, no. Did it all. And that's what I, uh, I really uh, feel that what we're doing now is better than anything we've ever done. Uh, and so I'll keep doing this for some time. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, giving me a nice first blush or whatever this is. <laughs> uh, spread the word about uh, this. I'll do more of this. There's this kind of traffic here, and that's good to know. And so I'll be back, and it's lescohelp.com. L-E-S-K-O-H-E-L-P.com. And it's uh, 1995 a month. And if you feel you've been gypped, give you money back, no questions asked. For 20 bucks, I ain't gonna waste time. Yeah, I don't wanna waste your time. So if it doesn't work, because it can't work for everybody, you may see something you think that's there, and it may not. But what I basically do is show you the best possibilities. I can't guarantee you get money, nobody can, except the people giving out the money. So you have to find them. I show you the best places where you live are most likely to have money for the problem you have, okay? Now, then it takes work on your side. You gotta go out and do some work yourself and follow up on that. They're not gonna come out. You're not gonna just go to one website and fill out a form and get money. I mean, that may happen, but most likely not. It's gonna take some work on your side. So you best get ready to do that. Or if you just wanna be a voyeur, I'll take your money. <laughs> there's just too much good stuff to do in life. And there's no reason not to try to do as much as you can. It's like a smorgasbord and none of it's fattening. <laughs> During the night is when you were making those books, how did you find out about the program? Well, I do and read because I was helping fat cats use these programs. And I wanted to get paid. I was a consultant. I'd charge them $10,000 to find these things. Yeah? And so I'd, I'd work hard because it was good money. But now people in Wilkesbury, where I grew up, they can't pay that. So now I want to do it for $20. I want to be the $20 guy, not the $10,000 guy. So thank you for letting me be that. Now, how do you stop this thing? Doctor, doctor. <laughs> I guess down a more, where's more? Yeah, wait. Ah, uh, end now, yes, end now, bye. <laughs>